Hi and welcome back to another in the series of cheap guitars that don't suck question mark and today we don't have one but we have two guitars and the reason there's two is because it kind of spans a couple of models obviously and also spans a decade so I think it'd be quite interesting to do the two guitars in the one video now there is a link in the description about Tysco and they were under a number of brands but rather than me waffle on about that uh, check it out it's a Wikipedia link it's quite interesting and if you get bored have a read through it go down through and there's links to all the catalogs throughout the different years showing all the gear they made and they oh man they made some really weird and wonderful looking guitars now today we're looking at this one there's one of them, one of them now this was sold to me as a Tysco Valletta now I believe this is the 1960s, possibly six, about 65, I believe. Um, it's very hard to pin them down to date, and you can pin them down to 60s or 70s generally by where they're made. Now the early ones, like this, Japan, and it's stamped quite clearly in the neck plate there. Uh, the hardware is very similar between the ones in Japan and the later ones, like this one, and. This isn't much later. I believe this is probably very early 70s. Might even be late 60s because the crossover point is around 67, 70. And there is some sort of fundamental differences on it. Uh, it's got K branding on it for one thing. Like I say, they sold them under a number of names. Um, Del Rey was another one. Uh, the difference is on the later ones is the tuners. And you see these. Uh, these are quite questionable to be honest, they're making things as a budget now, they're being made in Taiwan rather than Japan. The Taiwanese factory is still very good, but these have those plastic button heads and tuning these up with tens, you get to the point you think, shit, is it going to snap? And you might find if you're looking to buy one of these, make sure those keys are okay because some of you might just arrow light one back on and it won't last. Well, on this one, the earlier one, these are much, much nicer tuners much heavier these are one piece machined and they're actually pretty good so right what can we tell you about them uh hardwood bodies very very basic construction just a slab a lot of them had this <laughs> fairly interesting bridge it's not the best in the world it really isn't it's either too tight what rattles and most of the guitars i've seen have this missing so i was quite lucky to get this one uh, actually all complete also, we've got the two pickups on here. Now, I say these are cheap and obscure guitars. I've seen just the pickups start to sell for around 100 quid. They are awesome pickups. They're single coil, but they really have a unique sound, and, and they are so good. Uh, this Valletta model has, obviously, two selector switches here. Um, not much else I can tell you about it. One piece mahogany neck, and I think, the, uh, the fretboard itself is possibly also mahogany and it's just been stained because there's some staining coming off the side. And this has a really, really odd profile to it. It's not great, but it sounds good. Okay, and the other one, this does have a different, uh, same construction, still the same type of wood, same one piece neck. And they are quite nicely made, the necks, really super smooth. This does have a different fretboard material on it. Uh, what it is, I do not know. So, not a lot of information for you, is there? Uh, again, single pickup on this one. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say, it's they have this unique thing of having the truss rod adjuster here. I think you can see that. Rather than generally under a cap at the top. So, yeah, good on them for that. I've not tried to see if it works, but I'm, I'm sure it does. Uh, if I'm offering too much, timestamps. Just skip to the bits you want to hear. Or don't want to hear just skip on i don't mind honest um yeah quite nicely made neck plate quite a solid little guitar and um, it's the only single pickup guitar i own and the way they've positioned it is quite interesting because you can get the sound of a different pickup by playing behind the pickup or in front of the pickup it's subtle but i'll show you that later okay um i'm not gonna waffle on about these anymore We'll, uh, we'll go and give them a sound, a little try out, see what you think.
Well, <laughs> yeah, what can I say? Oh man, I, this, oh, the, the fretboard on this, it is absolutely awful. I mean, I struggle with playing it at the best of times, but um, it's got a kind of concave feel to it, and it's, it's bloody awful. <laughs> the other one is much slicker. Uh, it's a much slicker neck on that and much nicer to play. Uh, this also has another problem. Uh, I don't know if you, you probably heard it. That fact's coming through. Um, there's a sort of a resonance on the B string that uh, seems to happen in around the bridge area of the spring. Anyway, there's some kind of resonance going on there, which isn't very nice. Uh, these are let down massively by these really, really awful bridges. Um, you might see here that it's got a nice angle on it. When I got it, it didn't. I, I had to actually move it because the intonation was so far out. They're normally just plonked on straight. And we get a Friday afternoon when the guy's been to the pub lunchtime and uh, the screws are in crooked, that's your intonation set for the life of the guitar. So it had always been wrong on this one. Um, the pickups are nice. I, I don't know, something about the guitars I actually really do quite like, but bits of them do suck badly and both bridges on these aren't great. But uh, the other guitar is, is more playable, though I do like the, the twin pickups on this one. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you own one, ever owned one, um, please put in the comments. It's always nice to see people's comments uh, and I do appreciate them. Uh, we are so lucky today. Out there are so many good, affordable guitars. But I don't know, these have characters and then they go, no, I'm keeping them. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch up again soon. Bye now.